Did you know that you could fly in mini golf? Just aim your teleporter straight up and after a second, you'll lift off. Increase your movement speed to fly even faster. Hello and welcome to the You're Playing It Wrong series, a series in which I tell you, in the least judgmental way possible, the biggest features and popular games you're either missing or playing completely wrong. I randomly decided to give this game a try with my friend one night and we were blown away. However, we only thought this was a simple mini golf game, but underneath the brightly colored theme and simplistic level design, there was something much deeper and darker going on. I'll start off by telling you everything you need to know to go from a noob like this to a pro like this. Well, maybe not quite that good. First of all, you could put that second controller down because there's not even an opposite hand model in the game. It's just air. This will allow you to get a better and more reliable grip. Now that you've got a good grip, let's work on your stance. This is where watching real golf tutorials will actually help you with this, but the general rules I follow from those are First, keep your feet shoulder width apart. Second, rotate your body around the ball so that you make a 90 degree angle where your feet are pointing and the path to the hole. Third, lean forward slightly. Also, don't move your head to watch the ball when you swing. This is a bad habit that can cause you to lose focus in your form. Just keep your head down and follow through. Also, since you are going to want to keep your head down while hitting the ball, it's good to notice the dots on the putting green. You can use these to align your shot. If you've ever bumped into something when going to hit your ball, you can enable a setting called locked ball to center. That way, whenever you click the trigger to teleport to your ball, it will be in the middle of your room every time. When hitting the ball, don't flick your wrists or try to push the ball as those can cause it to go off course. The game only processes the data of your swing the moment you hit the ball. Now I'm going to explain to you how the ball spins off of obstacles, and then we'll get into some later features that you are probably playing wrong. I'll use this hole to best explain the spin because it has an obstacle at a 45 degree angle and the center of that obstacle perfectly aligns with the hole. You would think to hit the ball straight in the middle of the obstacle to get the hole in one, but this is where you're playing it wrong. When the ball hits the obstacle, it takes a moment to spin as it's changing direction, and then it skids and goes directly as planned. You actually have to factor that skid into your shot if you want to make those hole in ones. So hit your shot a little bit to the right if the hole is in the left, and a little bit to the left if the hole is on the right. If you want to take a practice swing right where the ball is, enable the grip to putt feature in settings. It can improve your accuracy while eliminating mistakes. Not to say all mistakes are bad. I mean, my friend accidentally hit a ball backward once and we found a new path to the hole. This brings up a great point. You should join their Discord server. The skill of the players there is unbelievable. It's fun to just go on and watch the new hole-in-one shots they've invented and perfected. And these mortals don't stop at mere hole-in-ones for the correct hole. No, these supreme beings get hole-in-ones while starting on a previous hole. And if you'd like to do this too, I'd recommend playing the course in practice mode so that you can click down on the thumbstick to retry the hole. This works on any course, but you'll also want to hold down the grip button so that the ball can keep bouncing out of bounds without being reset by the game. Also, I want to make sure you know all the amazing features that this game offers because I didn't know them until a month after getting the game. And all I had to do was look to my right. Okay, a little more to the right. So the controls are trigger to teleport where you need to go, pushing up on the joystick to teleport or smoothly locomote, pushing left or right on the joystick to smooth or snap turn, pulling down on the joystick to collect lost balls and clues, clicking the B button to replay your last shot, clicking the A button to see the map and to terrorize your friends as a giant. Seriously though, the map view shows a lot more than you would think. You can also teleport to any spot on the map from the giant view. On the scoreboard you can see, well, uh, the score, but underneath that, the check marks mean that you found the lost ball for that hole. Speaking of lost balls, I've got a lot of them. Yes, before your eyes are dozens of lost balls, with more to find when a new map comes out, which happens around every two months. Okay, I've hinted at this many times now, but there's something mysterious going on in the game. No, I don't mean Dracula peeking out his head in original gothic mode. I don't mean every fox hunt on every hard mode course. I mean, where did all the people go, and why does it look like they left in a hurry? Look at what they left behind. The lights are turned on, candles and torches are lit, this vault is left open, gold left out untouched in a mine like it wasn't valuable. Even the food from this traditional celebration has been left out untouched. But there's a mess, like something scared them or took them away. Let me ask you something. Who are we? Why are we here? The player character model. What is it? I'll tell you, it's one head and one hand, 
but why does the head always look so suspicious? When you're playing and you turn to look at your friend, do you see a human? Or do you see something else? Well, let me ask you something else. Why was the golf course built the way it was? Was it built by the inhabitants as an attraction? Or was it built by someone or something else? I have one theory that answers all of these questions. The things that we actually call players are... Aliens. Aliens disguised as humans with their simple hats and sunglasses, and now with customizations to cover it up even more. They may have fooled everyone else, but they haven't fooled me. I see what truth lies beneath those dark shades, the past that's been one big cover-up. Through each mini golf course, their history is told. The shape of these courses are circles, just like the crop circles on Earth. The first generation alien head was captured on our trip to space, only for them to wipe the ship clean of all human life. A wanted poster for the first generation alien. What kind of trouble did it get into to cause the humans to hunt it down? And don't forget, these creatures can fly and teleport. Their flight goes in any direction and at pretty high speeds. I alone cannot find all the facts of this alarming truth. You must help me by putting your discoveries down in the comment section below. Goodbye for now.